What's up guys, it's HON. So the weekly maintenance has come and gone and Nexon has revived the week with some sales. So we're gonna check it out. So first of all, we have the, the most American package which is $116. Just imagine that, $116. You could practically buy Overwatch and Battlefield 1 with that money. Just think about it. But let's just see what's in it. It has the P90, we have the the cowboy hat, we have the recon vest, we have the aviator glasses, and we have the terrain backpack. No, it's not, it's not the modular backpack, it's the terrain backpack, okay? So, that's what's in it, and it costs 116 I don't know why Battlefield, um, um, DICE, and EA don't just go into free-to-play. In case you have to spend all that money to buy it, and a bunch of people are buying it, I see a bunch of people running around with that type of overpowered suit for 116 dollars You make more money, don't you think you make more money? In case you go into free-to-play? And you do it properly so let's get down to, um, to the rest on the list and we have the KH 2002 and it's for 217,000 GP it's not a dog shit type gun <laughs> but it's not the best we have the Juggernaut's SVD um, I think they had the custom on sale just some couple of days ago but the best thing there that I saw was the MP7 steel it's probably the best I, I I got an unbelievable fit, I think, the same day I bought it, which is today. Um, early this morning, I played the game and I got an unbelievable one time because it's very light and it shoots. I mean, the damage per second is not that good, but because of the fast fire rate, and it always lands a headshot. I was scared of being kicked when I was playing with it for a while, I, I'm telling you. We have the TriStar Cobra for shotgun, and it's 79,000, and it's not. Mm, it's like, meh. I mean, the, the MP7 steel is 189,000, but I mean, it's actually kind of worth it. Eh, not really. And we have the 32SW2, that's the pistol for 50,000. It's not the best pistol, but it sure looks nice. It gives you that World War authentic feeling. So let's go down and we have the AS Val for 36,000 NX and that's my favorite gun in every game I play in Battlefield 4. It's my favorite gun in C. It's my favorite gun. I actually had 10,000 NX and I bought it for 30 days. And I'm probably thinking about renewing it every 30 days or something like that if I get the extra money. So nothing from my pocket but any extra money that I get around. We have the N961 and Super Black Magnum for 45,000 NX. So these two things on sale are probably the best and they, it looks like the sales are coming every couple of days so it looks like Nexon is really trying to drain our pockets. They are trying to, you know, if they miss one this week, they try to take one next week. So it's like the, 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 um, the sales are not rare anymore. It's like a every week thing. So they're really trying to take one when we had a Missy 20 where you get a, you must get a, um, a permanent weapon but usually it's a shit. A shitty permanent weapon so you know on that we have the miss bonuses if you really want to rank up fast you have 300 percent bonuses and all this type of stuff in that not really a big deal we have the May speckers package and the tried and true package May spec up speckers package is okay but i really just want the camo cap because it has i think eight eight percent speed and um 25 percent stamina and that's pretty good to have on the cap already so that's probably the best thing there we have to other other guns which is not really that important um yeah, nothing really important. We do have the Famas Custom. So there's a Famas Custom for 100,000 GP. And it's really good. I actually bought it because it's custom. And uh, nothing in the shop, not even the um, G2 version of it, has that amount of damage. It's actually worse. The, everything else in the shop is worse than this one. So I think you guys should get it before the sale is up. If you have the little um, GP to spare, you should get it. It's a 100,000 GP. And we have the M416 CKB camo with the P90 TR, those broken guns. We have the Desert Eagle Gold custom version. So it must be real worse. So it's now probably a one shot kill. And we have the Tiger Strider. I hope it's not custom either. Next, we have the Slim Weapon Renewal Cases. So it's kind of like those, um, what they was calling it? Those licenses. I can't, I can't remember this. It's patch patch kits. Is that's what they call it? Yeah, patch kits. It's kind of like the patch kits you get from three hours to three days. But actually, it's for your NX weapon. So now that I have the the um, ASV, I can now try to renew it. But most likely, you're just gonna get a bunch of three hours, 
and that's really annoying so it costs from 2000 gp to 30,000 gp it's not i don't see it in the game it i guess by tomorrow because it's from the 13th to the 14th so it's a one day thing so if you have a bunch of gp and you really want to try to renew it then you can waste your money on it but me my personal <laughs> my opinion just doesn't make any sense i just see it as just a way to drain down our gp for this crap but i still will be trying to buy a couple to see what it's really worth to basically make a review on it so anyways guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and um stay royal